Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial, we explain how to install the desired Linux distribution in Windows subsystems for Linux or WSL in short. Well, first of all, let's start with the prerequisites. You have to make sure that WSL2 is installed on your system. So let's verify that and if it's not installed on your system, then we will install it very quickly. So click here on start and search for power shell. Now do the right click and run PowerShell as administrator and click on yes. Now over here type WSL list with double dash and let's see. And if you can see something like this Windows subsystem for Linux distribution Ubuntu default then this means that you have WSL or Windows subsystem for Linux installed on your system. However, if you don't have it, you can simply install it with this command. So simply copy this command and type this. I'm not going to type this in this tutorial since I already have it on my system. If you type this, then WSL will be installed. You need to wait maybe several minutes. After that, you need to restart your computer and then you will have WSL installed. In fact, after you restart your computer, you will see a small window or pop-up terminal over here saying that Ubuntu is being installed. Okay, I actually created a separate video tutorial explaining all the steps. Okay, from now on, I will assume that WSL is installed on your system. Next, let's make sure that you can actually run WSL and Ubuntu on your system after you install or if you didn't install it and if you already have it, let's ensure that you can run it. So click on start and search for WSL and then you will see this cute penguin icon. Click over here and wait. And over here, obviously I'm able to run Ubuntu and you should also be able to run Ubuntu then verify over here your current version of Ubuntu by simply executing this command and you can see that I'm running Ubuntu 22.04. Okay, our task is now to install some other Ubuntu version. For example, you would like to run robot operating system or a machine learning algorithm and this machine learning algorithm or robot operating system requires, for example, Ubuntu 24.04 and it's not installed on my system. So let's learn how to install it. First of all, to check all the Linux distributions that are currently installed through WSL, you need to type this. Or better to say, this will not... To list all available Linux distributions that can be run through WSL and that can be installed through WSL, let's go back to our shell and over here, we need to execute this command. We need to type WSL, then double dash list, then double dash online. And let's see what are the possible distributions. And you can see them over here. And for example, let's install Ubuntu 24.04. To install this particular version of Ubuntu, we need to type WSL, then again install, then D meaning distribution, and over here you need to simply copy and paste the name of the distribution, Ubuntu 24.04. And let's run this, and then the installation process will start. Installing, this might take a few minutes. So be patient over here, depending on how fast is your system, it might take one minute, two minutes, or even 10 minutes. In my case, it took only 30 seconds or maybe less than a minute to install this Ubuntu version, and you will be asked to enter your Unix username I will use my first name and then of course you will be asked for a password so you need to set your password so set your password then after that confirm your password and that's it now look what happened what happened right now you are actually immediately in the Ubuntu terminal right now there is one additional thing to check let's check this Ubuntu version, so let's type LSB release and with this option A and you can see that we are currently released 24.04 and that's precise 
the precise version that we want to install. Okay, perfect. Let's now do the following. Let's close this terminal and let's try to see what happens here on start. Can we start that Ubuntu version? So click on start and here search for Ubuntu. And you can see that we might have several hits. I have just Ubuntu over here. This is my standard 22.04 and then I have this one 24.04 so I can start it as an independent tab and if I start it as an independent tab you can simply again verify that you're running the correct Linux distribution you can write LSP release A and you will see that you're on your correct Ubuntu distribution okay however let's try also to run the previous Ubuntu distribution. So click here and search Ubuntu and you should see your previous Ubuntu version and then again look this is so funny and very nice you can run it from a different terminal and let's see now LSB release A and let's see what happens and this is 22.04 however we can also run WSL let's see what happened if we just run WSL another terminal is open and let's see what happens here LSB release A and you can see that I'm actually running over here the default 22.04 distribution okay to summarize you can run multiple Ubuntu distributions with multiple versions at the same time and this is super powerful however the disadvantage of this is that all of these Ubuntu distributions will actually share to computer resources and they will significantly slow down your windows and they will slow down each other okay now what we observed here is that WSL automatically starts with this particular Ubuntu distribution however let's change this default Ubuntu distribution such that WSL actually starts with 24 0.04. We can easily do that, actually. So let's learn how to do that. Okay, so let's do this. First of all, click on Start and search for PowerShell. Then run it as an administrator. Then I will simply resize the screen such that you can see what I'm typing and you can follow this tutorial. And let's see what's happening over here. Now, if we now type WSL LV, we can see that we currently have this Ubuntu distribution, which is 22.04, and the new one. And you can see a star over here. The star means that this is default distribution. So let's change that. Let's learn how to change that. To change that, we need to type WSL, then set default. Oops, I made it. And over here, you need to specify the default version. So we want to set this one to be the default version. So let's type this and let's execute the operation com completed successfully. And let's now run WSL LV and let's see what happened. Now the default distribution is Ubuntu 24.04. And let's now do the following. Let's now start again. Start and let's try to run our WSL, this cute penguin. Click on cute penguin and let's see what will happen. Okay, and then let's verify LSB release A and let's see what do we have. We have Ubuntu 24.04. This means that we have changed the default Linux Ubuntu versions. Now when we start Linux Ubuntu, we start the version 24. 0.04. This is amazing and you can manipulate, you can play with these options. However, let's now verify that the other one, for example, if we just run Ubuntu, let's see what will happen. That is if we run not this one, but this one over here. And let's verify the LSB release A. Release A and you can see that this is 22.04. Good. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, 
please press the like and subscribe button and also don't forget to check my other videos i created more than 650 free video tutorials covering different topics including machine learning control theory ai system identification signal processing robotics mechatronics mechanical engineering and electrical engineering thanks for watching